Welcome back. This is Roger Carter. Uh, I'm here to talk about another uh, variation of the blue cheese. Uh, this one is called the blue cheese paradiddle. Um, very similar to, I guess what you'd call a cheese paradiddle in that we're taking a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, and then we're going to cheese that first note. Aha, but here we're going to put the blue cheese instead of the standard cheese. So uh, we have the paradiddle. All right, normally for a cheese paradiddle, I would just simply cheese that first note. Here I'm going to do the blue cheese on the first note. And just to recap, if you haven't seen the earlier video, that is where I invert the sticking. Instead of right, right, left, I make it right, left, left. And I also move the flam. Instead of being on the first note, is on the second note. Da cha da, da da, da cha da, da da. So we have accent. Grace note is right there. So we have blue cheese and then de dull. As with the other uh, rudiments in this series, uh, some of the challenges uh, present themselves as Trying to get that grace note after the attack is one of the hardest things because you play your first note here and then you have to squeeze, drop that grace note. So normally when we play a double stroke, you know, all of our instructors tell us to work on the second note being just as loud as the first. Well, not the case with this rudiment. You want to bring it much further down so that way you can be ready to play as a grace note. And it has some interesting technique too because you have a very tight diddle followed by a very open diddle. So if I play just the right hand on the drum, left hand on the rim. And the challenge is to get that grace note very, very tight. We want it as tight as possible without becoming a double stop. So it's not exactly the same time, but it is just a microsecond before the primary note. You don't want to pop that note down there. Still needs to be a flat. And you might try just the, double, uh, the blue cheese on the right, just to get that motion. They're double strokes. Put that in the paradiddle form. Notice when I break it down like that, I don't, you don't want to hold on really, really tight. We want to use the same technique that we're going to use when it's fast. So a little bit higher and louder grace notes and taps. And again, just to prepare you for the techniques that are required when it's, when it's quick. They really have a unique look and sound to them. So now I'll do an exercise that will demonstrate uh, this paradiddle rudiment here. I'm going to go back and forth between some blue cheese, which are a grouping of three, and the blue cheese paradiddles, which are a grouping of four. So you'll hear the note value speed up. I'm going to go from triplets da, 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 to 16 notes da, 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 while putting that blue cheese on the first note. slower.
faster. I can also play it where the note value doesn't change, and I'm not necessarily going from triplets to 16th notes, but I'll just keep a consistent underlying ostinato of notes, and I'll just do three and then five. Same exercise, but I'm not going to modulate between triplets and 16ths this time. A little faster. And as with all of the hybrid rudiments, uh, half the fun is just coming up with your own variations, accent patterns, grid it, you know, put into different patterns and whatnot. Uh, for instance, you could, I could add another hand to make it into a fivelet. So instead of, uh, you know, paradiddle, I can put three following notes. Then I have it into a fivelet. So the possibilities are really endless when you talk about this technique because there's a lot of pre-existing rudiments that you can substitute your cheese with the blue cheese. So there's a, a lot of uh, potential uh, ideas that you could come up with. I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing what uh, other people come up with. Uh, we're going to do some more videos in this sequence too. Uh, another one called the inverted inverted cheese is going to be coming up soon. Uh, that's a pretty challenging one so stay tuned for that one.